Every Episcopal ordination brings us deep into the mystery of the Church, into the mystery of God's plan for the world and for our lives. Jesus Christ built his Catholic Church on the foundation of his apostles, to be the sign of his love and the instrument of which he makes the whole human race into his family, his kingdom on earth. And our lives are a part of this divine love story. St. Ignatius of Antioch was a bishop taught by the apostles as martyr as they were. And he said, one should look upon the bishop as upon the Lord himself. Brothers, you are called today to become the face of Christ, his presence among the people you serve. What a privilege. What a responsibility. But no bishop stands alone. Jesus says today that as the Father has loved him, so he loves you. You will walk with him in friendship as shepherds of souls and stewards of God's mystery. On Pentecost, the eleven apostles gathered in an upper room with the mother of Jesus. Another hundred or so men and women were with them. They were the few remaining disciples of a man who had died on the cross. They were hated and persecuted. Yet, from that upper room, their message went out to all the earth. This tiny remnant converted an empire and built a new civilization, not through politics or violence, but through law. My dear brothers, you are the successors of those apostles who preached the gospel to the whole world and made disciples of all nations. The love of Christ impelled them, and they did whatever Jesus told them. This is your ministry now. This is the mission we all share in the church, and you must lead us. So, Task before us is urgent. Jesus does not want a single soul to be lost. So many today are like sheep without a shepherd, confused about life, searching for meaning, for happiness and love. How will they find Jesus if we do not proclaim him? We are called to play our part in this love story that God is writing in history. So let us proclaim his word boldly, with courage and clarity, and above all, charity.